Regular backups are crucial for safeguarding your network settings and configurations against unexpected failures and changes. In this lecture, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of creating backup using PFSense built-in backup functionality. You will learn how to automatically backup and choose the appropriate backup destination and ensure integrity of your backup files. You will have peace of mind that your PFSense configuration is safely backed up and ready for the restoration whenever needed. Whether you are recovering from the system crash or reverting to the previous configuration or even migrating to the new hardware, knowing how to effectively restore your PFSense setting is essential. You will learn how to restore from the automatic backups or manual backups and previous configuration version. You will be well equipped to recover from unexpected incidents and maintain the continuity of your network operations. On top, you will see diagnostic. You can see here various options are there. One is factory default. Of course, we are not going to do the factory default. It will reset all the configuration. We won't be doing that. We'll click on backup and restore. This is important option here. And what are the strategies for backing up and restoring? Uh, the backup configuration will be created as the XML file. So you should keep the backup. You should take the backup on regular basis and store that in a proper place. From here, whether you want to do the backup of your DHCP server, backup of your NAT server, backup of your aliases, I will do the backup of everything. So it is all backup. And here, if you go to backup extra data, it will also even backup the lease details, backup the DNS details, backup the even the captive portal is there. So captive portal configuration will be done. In case you don't want to backup other things, you only want to backup the configuration. So you will be clicking on download the configuration, which is an XML format. Size is not much. You have got any issues with your PFSense, you can simply come back and restore it. What is the best practice of doing the backups of your PFSense. So when you are in your virtual environment, of course, taking backup is easy. Entire VM can be backed up and entire VM can be restored whenever there is any problem. Even if you are in the high availability environment in your virtualization platform, backups of VMs will be automatically taken care of or backup of the systems will automatically be taken care of. But here, if you want to only take the backup of the configuration of PFSense, in case anything goes wrong in the PFSense, then how you are going to restore. Of course, if hardware has issues, if VM has issues, those can be restored using an entire restore. But what about the configuration? Maybe you have done some misconfiguration and you want to restore it back to the previous configuration. So how you do that? Here you'll go into diagnostic and in diagnostic, you have the option called backup and restore, download the backup. Now there are some packages also that you might install. I'll explain you that. And in case you want to take the backup in package information, you can do that as well. But if you are restoring it to the new system, of course, the packages won't be there. So you won't be able to restore that. But if you want to back up entire VM with its packages and all of that, you can use different strategy as I have already explained you for the VM. But if you are taking the backup of configuration, so the best way is to come here to the backup and restore, take the configuration backup and download as XML. Now you can of course encrypt it also. Encrypt will help you that nobody should be able to read the file. But if you are using only for yourself, so it is fine. You can use it. So sometimes this can happen that you have done some configuration in PFSense. Something wrong has happened because of that. Users are complaining or the devices are not connected. Some issues might be there. So here it is not possible to restore your uh, configuration which you backed up in past. So what you can do, you can go back to the recent history of the configurations that you have done and you can restore it to the specific point. So how we can do that if you go here to the configuration history or config history, you will see here what time you did what. This is the current configuration. I created these rules recently in LAN. So this was my recent configuration that I created. After every configuration that you do, it will automatically keep the backup of that configuration. You can see here many Configurations are already there. Old history is there. Uh, you can see here that system installed, time-based rules were applied, and firewall rules, rule was saved. Firewall schedule was configured. Firewall schedule was deleted. So here, system time zone was changed. This history of the configuration is available there. So I can go and download the configuration of that state. Now, these are the actions that you can take. Either you can delete these configuration backup, that which has automatically been taken by uh, PFSense while you were doing the configuration or you can even download the configuration and keep it with you or even you can restore 
this configuration right away without uploading and without restoring it so you can simply click here it will restore that configuration suppose if i go here and i create a new rules i will add a rule and this rule will in fact block all the traffic from lan ipv4 and source will be your local net and destination will be any so everything is blocked here okay so i created this rule now and i brought this rule on top so what is happening now that from lan to van or lan to any other network traffic is blocked try to open any website it won't open because everything is blocked now maybe i'm not sure what i have done maybe i feel that something wrong is being done because of this configuration i want to restore this configuration to make sure that this new firewall rule that i just created i will just uh, name it for example i'll go back to the same diagnostic and you will see here that just now the admin has changed the rule 1201 pm firewall rule has been saved and edited this is the current version and previous version was here even these are rules of the same time i opened and i saved again even if i open this and i type something here configuration even this specific change is now saved as a new configuration change if i go back here you can see here that these are two configuration right now if i refresh this you will see that third configuration is already here now which means that three configurations are there one configuration uh, backup is this and there are two configurations and for example i created of course the new firewall rule here i saved it two times that's why these are three and this was my last rule that i created last night so what i can do i can just click here and restore this specific configuration so are you sure you wish to replace the current configuration with this backup which was taken automatically here while the rule was created and that time 1034 this rule was not created which is this one this rule to check auto configuration was not created so i will go 1034 this backup which was automatically taken by the pf sense so i will uh, restore that and okay now you can see here successfully reverted i need to manually reboot the pf sense so i can go to the pf sense so i can choose from here also of course i can do it from there as well so i will just type 5 i just want to reboot normally i will type y and enter now pf sense is rebooted i will go back to my pf sense uh, web user interface of course it will ask for the user id and password because it is reloaded now and if i go back here diagnostic backup and restore and you will see here that this is the reverted configuration but if you see these two configurations that i did these were also stored there so you can even restore this particular configuration as well so we'll go here to firewall and rules if you notice here in the lan section that rule which we created has disappeared because it might have been created by mistake or there might be problem because of that we restored and that is why we restored the configuration and once the server has rebooted it has restored the configuration now suppose i want to go back here in the backup and restore and i want to restore the other configuration where the rule was created and this time i want to reboot from the web user interface so i will go here save and edit this was the rule which we created where internet was blocked uh, from the local network to all other networks so i will restore this configuration are you sure you want to replace the current configuration with this backup i will do yes and now it says that you have to reboot to apply these changes so i'll go back here to diagnostic and click on reboot you can see here this is the reboot option i will just click this do the normal reboot and submit now we'll wait for this all right so system has been rebooted now and now you will see that the rule that was created and i will try to open any website here for example syncbricks.com it won't open the reason is because in this rule which we restored it, the firewall rule had blocked the access to outside network so if i click here to firewall and rules and here was the lan rule this was the rule that we created a rule to check auto configuration this rule is restored now because we restored the configuration now what i'll do if you remember i backed up one configuration i will go back 
to the diagnostic and backup and restore. If you remember, I downloaded one backup a few minutes ago. So I will now try to restore from that configuration, which was my maybe best configuration that I backed up, or maybe I am configuring various uh, uh, PFSense devices or PFSense installation, and then I take the backup of that, and now I want to restore that here. So what I'll do, I'll choose the file. So this was the configuration that I downloaded. I'll take that configuration and I will just restore that configuration. I restore the configuration, I'll say yes. And here you can see the configuration has been changed and the firewall is now rebooting. We'll wait for this to complete. After reboot, enter the user ID password. If I go to firewall rule, and you will see that rule which I created in LAN section that is not here now because when I took the backup of my configuration, the firewall rule that I created was after that backup. If you are not taking the backup manually, so every time PFSense is automatically taking the backup when you are doing any configuration. So this is the best way to take the backup and restore it. And why you should take the backup manually, the reason is because if PFSense itself will fail, then you at least have the configuration backed up.